I'm Alien St. Hilaire and in this video we're going to take a look at Mesh Commander on NPM. Uh, that is NPM. And basically what it is, is Mesh Commander entirely available on the Node Package Manager. So uh, you can take a look at uh, npmjs.com and there's a package called Mesh Commander. Um, and there's instructions on how to install it and so on with videos and I'm just going to demo how it works. So I'm going to assume for this video that you already have Node.js installed on your computer whether it's uh, Mac, Linux, Windows, it doesn't matter which computer you um, you can get, go ahead and install that. Once you get that installed uh, you create a new folder so I'm going to create a folder called uh, temp tmp here go in here and it's empty and now I'm going to say npm install mesh commander and it's just going to take a very short amount of time and it's going to basically install what amounts to a small web server and what you do is you're going to launch that web server open your browser point your browser to the web server and you're done uh, you'll have mesh commander available um, by default the web server that will be uh, running will only bind to local hosts, so the only the browser on the local machine will be able to access it. But uh, if you guys want to, you can. Um, I'll show you an option to make it available uh, widely, so that you, any other computers can connect to it. Now, keep in mind, there's no uh, username or password logon like uh, Mesh Central, so uh, I would, you know just be careful uh, this is not meant to be a, a big tool this is meant to be a, a a small tool so node so now that i got mesh commander uh, set up or downloaded node and i'm going to run slash mesh commander so node node modules mesh commander enter and you're going to see here it says mesh commander running on http 127.0.0.1 port 3000 so I'm going to bring back the browser and go to a local host port 3000 enter and there we go now I can click on a machine now if I, I've already uh, added a few machines when you first see this there won't be any machines at all you'll click on add computer start adding your AMT computer say okay and then once that's done you can click connect and um, and you know it, it just works you can also do remote desktop for example and you know connect remotely to the remote desktop like I'm just doing here on this remote machine so that's it um, now the other thing to note is that there's two limitations right now with this one is there's no uh, really tight TLS checking so it will if you connect with TLS it will work but it won't have uh, you know very good certificate checking that will come later and the other one is no IDER support IDER support now I want to show you guys a, a few other things. Uh, if you do dash dash, um, what is it? Bind all, I think. Bind. Oh, no, it's just dash dash all, I think. There it goes. Nope. Let's see, bind all. Oh, wow, I forgot already what it was. Um, should be right here. Oh, dash any, right there. So dash any, enter. Now it binds to all uh, IP addresses, port 3000. And also if you want to do dash dash port, like uh, 123, then it binds to port 123. And then you go here, 123. And, oops, I won't put any here. Just port 123, there you go. I'm on local host, so. Is oh, I'm uh, sorry. One, two, three, four. There you go. Local host, one, two, three, four. Boom. And now I, and you notice here, I don't have uh, any computers, so I could add some more. Um, but if I go back to port 3000 and go back on 3000 here. So it's super important to realize when you add a computer here, you're not adding a computer to the server. You're adding it to your browser. So your browser cache is keeping this list of computers. So if you if you want to save that list, go ahead and hit the save button and save that into a file, and then you can load it up later. Um, but you know when you add 
computers here, if you go in a different browser like Chrome, connect to the server, you won't see that list. You'll you'll need to either imp, you know open the the file that you save from a different browser or um, or just add them manually. So that's it. It's a mesh commander on npm. Just works on pretty much anything that Node works on. So OS X, Windows, Mac, um, and and also you don't need an AMT machine uh, to run this tool. Obviously, you you need an AMT machine to manage uh, from this tool, but uh, the the machine that uh, runs Mesh Commander doesn't have to be AMT. So that's it. Quick introduction to Mesh Commander for NPM. Thanks.